Thank you very much, Professor. Uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm going to uh, share the presentation with you. Um, can you see my screen, Professor? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, today, actually, my topic is to talk about the traffic violations and the accident reporting. I'd like to uh, recognize my collaborators. Uh, WHO, Genetria uh, Morotu, and uh, Effective Solutions. Um, so first I'll talk about the accident reporting, uh, which is the uh, key main uh, thing uh, when it comes to the traffic policy planning and all, uh, we need data. So uh, actually we uh, got together with this steering committee in uh, 2018, uh, with the support of WHO, we managed to uh, uh, design the uh, action plan to implement uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, we managed to uh, implement an uh, action plan uh, to uh, set up uh, the national accident data management system uh, to uh, record the accident data accurately and then um, uh, generate uh, the running reports and also uh, share with the other uh, legal entities uh, who are doing the uh, decision making and the policy planning uh, for the uh, uh, for the road safety uh, related measures and then uh, most importantly uh, this, uh, the uh, the data management system is uh, uh, is the system that uh, uh, runs in every police stations and uh, from the ground level, uh, we uh, we get uh, access to all the accident uh, uh, data, uh, like Mr. Ajit Ramana said, all the reported accidents are being uh, recorded through the system. Not only the recording, uh, we have this short-term plan uh, because uh, to implement this kind of system, we needed uh, uh, the station level police uh, uh, officers and the uh, regional level uh, police uh, officers to use the system uh, for their decision making and the work plan process. And uh, in the longer run, uh, with World Health Organizations, uh, we are uh, uh, supporting uh, to reduce uh, number of accidents uh, from 50% uh, uh, by 2030 as the decade of actions. And then uh, most importantly, when you have this data, you can do a lot of things on it. One is that you can implement artificial intelligence uh, related tools uh, to detect uh, uh, the patterns of the accidents and uh, generate intelligent uh, uh, analysis uh, based on that. I'll talk about those things uh, later and then uh, this is how uh, the management system uh, looks like. Here, uh, as you can see, uh, we record uh, all the uh, accidents with the very accurate GPS locations. By doing that, uh, we can uh, analyze uh, all the accidents through a road section. Uh, and then uh, we can uh, get all the data recorded uh, in 297 B form, uh, I think most of you know about 297 B form, uh, which is the standard data uh, recording uh, application that uh, the police department is using. Uh, all the data is recorded uh, electronically uh, and indexed uh, in a way that uh, it can be analyzed uh, accurately and. Uh, the running reports, the running reports and the uh, traffic bulletins are automated and uh, and it can be uh, shared uh, with uh, all the uh, relevant parties. And uh, when we talk about the implementations of this system, we have trained uh, about 750 police officers for the uh, for the moment. Uh, uh, in uh, 16 uh, police divisions and uh, in the national rollout plan, we have uh, another 28 police divisions 
to cover uh, and uh, we are collaborating with uh, road safety council uh, and then uh, uh, with the who support uh, we are planning to uh, expand this uh, system to the region also uh, to collaborate with other countries uh, to support their uh, accident data uh, uh, management process uh, and uh, the most importantly uh, i think when you presented uh, talk about the data and um, how we generate insight now you are looking at the results here so you are looking at uh, on the left side you are looking at a heat map of uh, uh, western province uh, you can see uh, how uh, the accident uh, are uh, accident density uh, and the uh, and the, uh, the severity uh, levels and also from your right side you can see a road section of the candy road and the black spot, how the black spots are being distributed uh, in that road section. Now, uh, the important thing is now all these things are generated from the system itself, uh, not only to the Colombo uh, district, uh, we can uh, do that for entire country. And by doing this, uh, the Sri Lanka police, which is the, the leading uh, organization who uh, uh, runs the law enforcement and who uh, uh, runs the daily operation to make this uh, country um, they make this country a safe uh, country so they can allocate their police force based on these reports and they can uh, get very high uh, productivity by doing uh, uh, these allocations by using this kind of intelligent analysis. So uh, we believe by doing that, we empower this organization uh, and uh, it will uh, uh, save a lot of uh, money. So when we talk about uh, the traffic violation, so Dilan also mentioned actually he was there from the inception. Uh, uh, he was there from the inception. So uh, what we uh, decide was uh, the technology is a tool that empowers people so currently if you uh, if you are a facebook user you have seen the there is a group called sri lanka traffic violation so people want to react activities uh, 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 in a way that uh, in the possible way uh, that are available uh, so what we see is if they have a, a, a to uh, uh, the relevant officials so they will definitely go for it so so here by providing the traffic violation app what we uh, planned was that so what we planned was uh, to provide this application to the general public uh, and by doing that we empower the citizens of this country to report the uh, violations that they see uh, and uh, then report that violations to the, the relevant uh, official. So, and also they can see uh, uh, what happened to their uh, reports also. So then they can follow it up and it will help uh, the entire country uh, to think differently. So what we are targeting is to roll out this system in two years time and it will help uh, 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 us to analyze uh, what kind of violations happening in this country and uh, not only the accidents. Uh, then we can see what kind of actions will lead to this kind of accident. Then we can train uh, the people and change their behaviors. And we can identify the target audiences. Uh, so that kind of things, yeah, that kind of things we can uh, get from this kind of application. So in that case, these applications should be very, uh, very user friendly and very, uh, uh, very uh, easy to use. So, so I'm showing you a small video about the uh, application uh, that we currently uh, developed uh, for this uh, 
national rollout it is very easier to use to be, then people can uh, just uh, uh, upload their videos and then uh, they can see what really happened to their uh, 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 report so As you can see, just tapping it, you can just record the video and then you can uh, update it to the uh, relevant authorities. So likewise, uh, we believe by uh, implementing uh, the technology uh, driven solutions, we can empower both the police and, uh, and also we can empower the citizens, most importantly, as a country, we can empower all the citizens and then the police and the other authorities can uh, uh, can do a better job because everybody is thinking uh, in a positive manner about these uh, uh, changes. So thank you very much. Uh, so I'm open to any questions. Thank you.